Okay, greenhouse tour. This is an update on the automated greenhouse. It is uh, February 12th, 2012. Uh, greenhouse has been working great. We have lots of stuff going on inside. Come on in. It's about a 60 degree outside and it's probably 80 or so degrees in here. Uh, I'm not going to try to name every plant as we go along. I'll just give you a, kind of an overview. Uh, we've got a rosemary here. That's Texas tree of some sort, I think. Growing some ryegrass right here. This is an experiment for our local feed store to grow cat grass. Uh, in this raised bed, which is made out of a uh, military ammo crate that we picked up for free, uh, we have live worms in our soil, all natural soil of course, and we're growing some lettuces, sunflowers, we have a volunteer tomato over here. Um, this gizmo here sometimes will give some extra light, and it's an LED grow light, and it um, targets the uh, growth stages, the vegetative stage of the plants when we're doing our lettuces. We can give them an extra bit of uh, light. Here we have another ammo crate. It has a raised bed inside the greenhouse. Got some onion. Carrots are just, just barely starting to pop up. I don't know if you'll be able to see those on the camera, but we've got lots of little baby carrots germinating here. Um, over here we've got some beans. We started these a couple weeks ago and uh, they're just doing fantastic. In fact, there's some um, little sprouts and blooms starting everywhere, so we should be harvesting beans in a few weeks. Um, back down in this corner, we have a um, orange tree. It's a dwarf orange tree that stays uh, in the greenhouse and does quite well. We're at six and a half thousand feet here. Uh, sorry, five and a half thousand feet here, and so it'd be too cold for citrus normally, but um, the greenhouse allows the uh, citrus trees to survive. Got some aloe. Uh, volunteer tomato, this thing just started sprouting out of nowhere. I don't think we even planted it. Um, it's got these gorgeous little, kind of a cross between a Romano or what do they call Rom? I don't know, forget what they are. Anyway, funny little tomato shapes. And um, this is something new this year. We're doing um, herb gardens, again in an ammo crate. These are what we pick up for free. So the idea is to sell these at farmer's market just going to be a little Italian herb garden in one box. We've got basil, oregano, and thyme, and those are all just starting germinating. So it'll be a little Italian herb garden in a box. Um, here we have soil blockers. These are little micro 20s. This is where we're germinating our seeds. Um, we've got various tomatoes and things germinated here. Here's some uh, larger tomato plants that we started a few weeks ago. You can see they're, uh, they're almost ready to be up potted again. They're getting to the point where the roots are coming out the bottom, so we'll probably be up potting those pretty soon. Uh, more micro 20s here on the soil blocks. We're going to show you in a different video about the soil blocks. I won't go into detail on what those are, um, but basically just allows us to start our seedlings in little teeny cubes of compressed soil and then makes them real easy to transplant later on. Got some flowers. These are also in soil blocks. Uh, this is the larger size that we would up pot into. Um, here's some other seedlings. Here's one you can really get a better sense of the, the seedlings in a start. You can take that little guy out. And now without disturbing these roots, we'll be able to put them straight into another soil block to up pot it. And there'll be no transplant shock when we move those little guys. So that's how the uh, soil blocks work. Um, We've got some other stuff going here, some traditional little pots, and uh, all kinds of different things going on. Uh, over this way, we've got more tomatoes, we've got some peppers. This was a volunteer pepper plant that just started growing out of another pot that we had, and uh, we just let it go, and it's, it's producing food for us in the middle of February here. Another tomato plant, a little cherry tomato. Uh, back over in this corner, you won't be able to see very well, but we've got a lemon tree, and uh, there you can see actual, we've got some fruit growing there, we've got lemons, again, middle of December, or middle of winter, I should say, in Prescott, Arizona, and it's kind of cool just to be able to have citrus growing. Um, these are eggplants, and you can see they're doing very well, we've got some beautiful flowers starting here, uh, eggplants there, 
more peppers. This is the soil block mixture. We'll go into that uh, in a different video to show you how we make those. Um, recently, finally, we just got all of our seeds organized, all in envelopes, and everything's organized, and it's just fantastic to be able to have our entire seed collection in a nice orderly manner. Um, various other things growing down here. It's probably too dark to see on camera very well. These are all peppers growing in the micro 20s and we're using a heat mat to give the soil temperature a little boost uh, in germinating our peppers and um, that's how we do that. This is a heater, a 6,000 watt heater. If the temperature drops too low in the greenhouse um, that heater will kick on and prevent anything from freezing. And then up top we have a blower that will come on if the greenhouse gets too warm and it will evacuate all of the air out of the greenhouse. Uh, these vents are what allows the fresh air to come in and that fan will blow it out. Those, those vents are fantastic. It's a wax filled cylinder. Uh, they're completely automatic but there's no electronics, no control circuitry or anything. The wax heats up, the vents open, fresh air comes in. At night it gets cool and the vents close and it's totally automated and there's nothing to it. It just works perfectly. Up here we have a whole other row of seedlings. Uh, we've got, looks like, yard-long cucumbers going here. Um, uh, looks like, what are we, oh, vine peaches. This is going to be new for us this year. We're really looking forward to the vine peaches. Got seedlings popping up everywhere. Got some marigolds, good as an insect repellent. Always good to have marigolds in your garden. And what do we have here? Uh, cilantro. We've got cilantro going in this little pot. Here's some tomatoes in the large soil blockers. Let me if I can pull one of these out and demonstrate. When we've up potted the tomatoes into a large soil block and we don't have any roots. Oh yes we do. Actually there's just the hint of a first root coming out. But the beauty of these soil blocks is we can just take this whole soil block and transplant it right out in the garden in May. And uh, those things work fantastic. We love our soil blocks. Uh, we've got more stuff here, all kinds of herbs going in traditional containers. Uh, up here we've got basils started, another, if I can show this to you. All kinds of beautiful little seedlings in our soil blocks, looking forward to those. Uh, last down here we've got some onions and things that are going, and they're all sprouting up now too. So, let's see, what else do we have in here? Uh, we've got some more peppers. Um, these are all from last year. We kept them going all through the uh, winter and we've just been maintaining them in the containers. Probably going to go outside when it comes time to plant outside. Uh, but we're just really excited to be able to have, you know, this kind of food growing. I keep saying that. It's just, to me, this is amazing. We've got this kind of stuff growing in the middle of winter in a mountain climate. And uh, that's the beauty of the greenhouse. We've got food pretty much lots of different places. These are all pepper plants in here. Um, here again is the uh, grass experiment we're doing for the local feed store to see if we can get a, an account selling uh, some various grasses for cats. Uh, more peppers. These are all just peppers in here. And uh, all those are going to be put out in the garden pretty soon. And I think that's about it. Did a little bit of organization. We've got a new potting bench over here. Got a beautiful cast iron sink now. Uh, running water. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, overview and update on the greenhouse.